Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild and we are back today with another Space Engineers ship review video. This time reviewing an interesting ship. Uh, this one y'all have probably seen before, but not in this configuration. And it is... Let me get this out of here. Red Team Nestorius refit uh, I think I'm saying the story is correct I could be wrong somebody correct me in the comments if I am uh, no mods DLCs required survival ready uh, it is a refit of a classic red team vessel featured in official trailers the Nestorus now those of you that are wondering where you've seen this one before uh, the part where red team attacks the blue base in the opening scene when you're at the menu on space engineers that's where this thing is at. Uh, the Nestorus was featured prominently in one of the official trailer videos conducting an attack on Blue Team. As I said, this version has been updated with Warfare 2 weapons, parts, and new furniture. Features two triple artillery turrets custom, two bow-mounted railguns, four assault gun turrets, four quad-gun autocannon turrets custom, and two defensive Gatlin turrets. Various defensive interior turrets as well. Uh, has M Masters, LCD scripts, jump drives, and working airlocks. We're going to give this thing a thumbs up because it is actually a really cool ship. By the way, this is also from Eddington. We've featured several of Eddington, Eddington's builds, but most of which have been blue team stuff. This is the first red team ship from Eddington we've actually shown, and it's, it's actually pretty cool. Now, the thing about Eddington's ship here is unlike the blue team ships, this one is more of a top turret farm kind of ship. Most of its heavy weaponry are up on top of the ship. It's artillery guns and everything. You would actually tilt this thing towards the enemy and then you would fly in past as the most of your guns would hammer away at it. But starting from the tip of this thing to the back, we have two rail guns and various uh, ion thrusters of all types. We also have an opening here for an airlock. We may go in this way. Uh, going on down. You can see we've got more thrusters. We've actually got a decent degree of hydrogen thrusters. And we've also got two of our four quad guns sitting down here. As well as several interior turrets. It's a nice um, opening area there. This I don't know what this thing qualifies as. If it qualifies as a cruiser or a frigate. But continuing on, uh, we've got all sorts of good stuff. We've got two beeping lights on columns back here. Some solar panels to give us a little bit of power when we need it. And uh, an interesting way of settling that middle part there is putting in a large rover wheel there without the wheel and our antenna and two large ion thrusters to get us the speed. Going up to the top, we're seeing one of the triple rack batteries with a... Nice little interior turret as defense. This is something you see on the Northwind weapon systems, like the really big guns. But right now you can see it right here on this one. You've got these big guns here. Instead of that, we've got artillery guns. Continuing from the top, we've got more antennas. The bridge, a laser antenna, a beacon, and a ore detector. So you can find those ores if you need to repair the ship. We've also got a nice bridge area. Over here, this is the main bridge. It is not the combat bridge. There's a combat bridge and a main bridge. So we've got that going on. We've got an interior turret and another triple artillery barrage cannon. And looking up over the top here, we've got more hydrogen thrusters for maneuverability, but we've also got four assault guns, I believe, or assault cannons uh, setting up over the top here. And we come back to our two rail guns. Going into the side here, We've got an interesting workaround with what appears to be some... This appears to be bars. Like the bar you can put in there. I think that's what this is. Yeah, that's what that is without the drinks. So an interesting way of doing that with some catwalks. We've also got uh, more armor blocks. Thrusters. And you can see coming across here, we've got the rest of our Gatlin defensive guns and our other two of four quad auto cannons, which are very effective. We've also got this here. We've also got this nice little hanger here. And let's just go over here and see if we can open this up real quick. 
and go inside. So done with the exterior of the ship, we're just going to hop in here to the interior. You can see it's got a really nice doorway going up. Let's see if we can close that. Nope. There we go. So now we're closing that in. This is a nice little hangar. We've got what appears to be a small, minute fighter. Very tiny. Uh, armed with two twin Gatlin guns, it looks like. And that may be everything. Hydrogen powered. So yeah, there, and a survival kit built into it. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. You know, just a small survival kit that you can use to get from point A to point B. So, yes, very nice, cute little fighter we have here that just works. Now, continuing on from there, we're going to head up here into the first area of the ship. This is like a lounge area. You can see your auto cannons sticking out the other sides here. And we can see our, we've got chairs, couches, a gravity generator for generating gravity. And we can also see out of these windows. You can just sit here on the side and just look out as you the battle rages outside your window. Wonderful. And we've also got us a nice little soda dispenser out here with some Klang Cola. It's just, I mean, you need Klang Cola. It's getting rare nowadays. Some universes, at least. Now, we come up here to this, and I'm not sure what this is. I have a theory this might be some type of dra gravity drive. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. I see these gravity systems in place. I'm not sure how that's working. But we do have two turret controllers here, some lockers for extra internal storage, and a nice little area here for going up and down. I've got to remember this when I build our frigate at some point. But doing that, we're going to go to the front of the ship here. And we're going to go to the crew, cryo chambers, and forward airlock. We've also got two nuclear reactors right here, small ones. And we've got a nice little cryo room, which is just perfect. You can run up here, set your self inside. Oh, that's a nice noise. Haven't messed with the cryopods too much. Is that is that like a normal thing? Yeah, that is a normal thing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so going from here, this is this is where we get to this neat little airlock, and I'm loving this. So we've got the, the regular stuff in an airlock where you have all your equipment to work with, but then you have this design right here where you have the air system right in here, your air vent, and you have this nice little button. And I think this is using the new blocks. It may or may not be. I don't know. But pushing this, this gets locked down. The air gets sucked out of the airlock. And this is opened up. And if you notice, we are now over here at the front of the ship where we can repair the main railgun batteries in the front, which is awesome. So let's continue on, head on up to the next floor. Open up that airlock here. And instead of going up, let's head back to the combat room. Oh, wait, nope, this is a storage area with access to our jump drive. Oh, that's nice. This is something you need in one of these ships. You need to be able to access stuff. And here you go, you can access your jump drive right here to jump the ship. This is a pretty good idea. I'm going to have to remember this. Uh, looking at that, we've got that. We've got access to our cargo containers, which are probably piped up, I believe, to the rest of the ship. As well as we also got some shelves in here to look at all of our cargo if we need it. And some storage boxes here with some ammunition, of all things. Holy crap, they've got guns in here. I'm in redneck heaven. All right, let's continue on here. Heading up, we're going to go up to the next level here. Up here to the front. And in front, we have this nice, nifty little... Uh, I guess this is a med bay, I suppose? Can't really tell. Let me throw some lights on here. There we go. Yeah, it's a med bay. We've got some small parts and stuff in here, but these are... We've got a lot of medical components in here. <laughs> and it's just an awesome-looking med bay at the moment. This is where you can just come back in if you're... Things are not too combat crazy. The thing that's really interesting is the combat bridge, which we're going to probably show that last. Let me just see if I can hit this button here in this little waiting room. Because this here is an airlock for either side. You push a button right here, and the airlock opens up. And you can now work on this gun. You can now run out and work on that gun. 
just a, a nice little area here where you can come out and work on your weapons and stuff on the outside. We also got the Nestorius sitting out there, emblem out there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You also have a button here so you can airlock this little area. Never thought about doing something like this, but I'm going to have to do it now because we have that new event controller block, ladies and gentlemen, and it is awesome. Now, we can come in through here. I never thought about this, but you can actually get around this. This is actually pretty cool. It, it keeps this really compact, more like a military ship than anything else. Uh, I'm liking the claustrophobia of it. It kind of has a frigate vibe. I'm going to say this is probably a frigate. Now, coming up in here, we have access to multiple turret control blocks. A awesome looking little, what is this, lockers? Awesome lockers. Jeez. So we got access lockers. We've got a program block here. Now we could go to combat and engineering, but we're going to go up to the bridge first because I want to show off this combat room last because of how cool it looks. But this is the main bridge. You know, it's nothing fancy. I think we could use a block right there, probably. <laughs> Maybe just a small one right here. Uh, we also have this. This is an awesome script. Uh, it's one of two scripts that enables you to see what the damage is on your ship. So if something inside of here gets damaged or one of your systems gets damaged, this automatically shows you on the LCD screen what's damaged. You can go find it. Very nice, usable system we got here. We've got this automatic LCDs by M Master going on. We also have all these other options here. I don't know what this does. Let's see. I don't see anything happening. Nothing. Oh, oh. Well, that's interesting. What happens if I do this? Nope, that's not doing anything. Let's hit that. Oh, yeah, it switched on me. I don't know why it switched. Hmm, that's impressive. By the way, I'm, oh, we've also got a Nestorus LCD screen right over here. Let's hop in here and I'll show you guys how this thing flies real quick. We're going to pull out as far as we can so you guys can see this thing in all its glory jumping on through there throw the tab button on now as you can see this thing picks up speed rather quickly it's a kind of an almost an ambush style ship now like i said this thing has most of its firepower on top of the ship so that it can unload firepower into an enemy vessel uh nothing wrong with this it's actually a pretty good design because you can put a maximum amount of guns onto a ship, and this would give you the ability to put a maximum guns onto target as you're operating. There's our rail guns going off there. Just amazing having something like this. Weapons at 11 something charge. Yeah, because I'm probably also using all this other stuff. What does one do? Oh, one just... What in the world was that? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, breaking just became a thing. Oh, I bet that's what the gravity drives are for. So this thing uses gravity as a braking uses a gravity drive as a braking element. That okay, I'm gonna have to take this thing apart and look at it now because that is just too dang cool. That that is just awesome. Uh, you you have the ability to slow your ship down almost instantaneously. That is awesome. See, this, this is what I like about looking at y'all's stuff. Is y'all got some pretty interesting things here. You got number five here shows a camera. I'm not sure which one that is. Number six is showing, I think, another railgun camera. Seven is another camera that's attached to a railgun. So, I mean, yeah, you know, we got some nice stuff going on here. Eight, I have no idea what eight does. Turn eight off. I'm not sure. Turn eight on. I don't know what that does. Let's take a look here. It's the easiest way. Oh, all turrets. Turns all turrets on and off. That's interesting. we got to turn off the... Um, a turn off antenna, and I'm not sure what these other ones are for. All turrets, main gun battery, secondary gun, defensive turrets. But they're darkened up, so they probably can't use those. Still a very good ship, though. Now, to get done with something that I saw very interesting. Very, very interesting. 
We're going to head down here. Of course, we also have a projector in the floor to project the ship so we can fix it and repair it. We're going to go into this main engineering area. Now, we got the main engineering area, and we can access everything. We can access our jump drive, the hydrogen tanks, all this wonderful stuff right here. Uh, we also have an internalized thruster bay, which is airtight. Uh, some people don't think you need those, but hey, internalized thrusters can really help out your ship if you need them to. We also have these sphere spherical gravity uh, generators, as well as some lockers, one on either side. But the thing I'm wanting to show you guys right here is this really cool, really awesome combat room. And this is the interesting part about this. Uh, this has everything you need to be operating as well as not only can you see like all of your screens and everything on here and what you need to look at but let's say you are operating here in this room and someone runs up and just smokes you right here and that guy runs back out of the room because he's like okay i took him out you can set up to your medical bay right behind it boop you come right back out retake control of the ship if you have to or if a round comes through here and tears this up you have cargo container here you can access you can throw down a new one a new seat a new control area hit this pick up what you need weld the sucker back up you're right back in the fight just a very amazing concept here with this ship and, and all while you are having this night all while you're having a respawn point right behind your seat so just an awesome option here to keep yourself in the fight like I said, this thing has just been amazing. Uh, this is the Red Team Nestorius. And I have to say, it is a, a very beautiful, well-built ship. I, I've got to build something similar to this in Space Engineers. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, seeing this awesome ship from Eddington. And uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Eddington's ship. I'm going to have it in the description. And I might even put it in the pinned comment so more people can go check it out. If you do check it out and leave a reply with Eddington, tell them Badger sent you. And as always, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.